Well, islands in the path of hurricane of the hurricane say they're OK, but they describe it as an overwhelming and really scary experience. KCCS Kayla James spoke to two people who both live in the Tampa Bay area and they stayed through the storm. Kayla. All right, Julie, that's right. Both of them Iowans. We introduced you to Mavis Richards yesterday. She now lives near St. Petersburg. She tells me after everything from last night, she feels blessed today. We also spoke with a former teacher who retired from Southeast Polk Middle School a few years back. He is well, but used the word eerie to describe moments last night. Gray skies, rainfall, and palm trees blowing sideways. That's what Donovan Filkin says he witnessed two hours before Milton made landfall. The winds were, I think, pretty well, pretty much 105 to 115 where I'm at. Filkins and his wife Crystal moved from the Des Moines area to Bradenton, Florida, eight years ago. So they've experienced Florida weather. The darker skies than this video, Philkin says, shot around 7.30. By 10.30. I lost the power, and then the rest of the night was, was again, really kind of eerie because you're, you're in pitch dark, and everything's blowing around, and you hear all kinds of noises, and things are hitting the, the, metal, the metal shutters. And but come Thursday morning... The sun peeks through the clouds as Philkins walks around his home searching for any damage. I don't see any damage. Um, not missing any shingles and my my pool cage is, is intact. Just 80 miles northwest near St. Petersburg Wednesday night. Des Moines native Mavis Richard says that bright flash proved a transformer blue. That blue scared, scared me to death. I was like, oh my God. Which, uh, yeah, so then I ran inside, shut the door. And stayed inside until Thursday morning, walking out to see a portion of her fence was gone. Just two miles from her home, closer to the coast, is her friend's neighborhood, slightly flooded. Richard says she knows it's worse for others in Florida. My heart goes out to them, and um, I, I know I'm, I'm truly blessed, and I'm very thankful for what I have to, you know, pick up and 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 do Philkins and Richards tell me they both have power and they've checked in on loved ones and friends who are thankfully also safe Laura